Okay, good evening everyone. I'm doing my workout video. I hope you can see me. I'm doing my workout video Saturday night rather than Sunday. Um, but I'm gonna go, I'll go change the camera when I stay, when I do the stand-up exercises, but for now I want you to be able to see the mat because uh, Miss and Miss Jackie, this is for you, so I hope you enjoy. I'm doing arms just for you. Now I'm gonna start out on the mat, okay? Okay, start out on the mat. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. I mean, I, I feel just feel like I, I feel like I, you know, I, it's like never ending all the time. And then, you know, anyways, so I'm just uh, I'm just like, oh, but finally I'm off tomorrow, Monday, so that works. And um, so this, oh, and a little bit, before I even start, a little bit of the something that happened to me, yesterday I went on a bone marrow procedure, and the man, and these are older people, he wasn't even like really that old, but he was old, like 63 or something. He was like 63. Well, he was like, he was like, I go in there, and I guess he must have thought that I was cute or something, and he said, he said, I might pass gas in here, little lady. I'm sorry if I do. And I said, that's okay. I said, I'm the perfect person for you to pass gas around because I love farts. He starts ripping the loudest farts. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm not even kidding. The whole room, I said, I swear, I think I'm going to smell like fart when I go back to the lab. So I, <laughs> I left and I called my sister. And I was telling her, like, I said, dude, I really think I, I smell like fart, like walking by people, because the whole room smelled like it. He, and, he, and he did warn me. He did say that he, he could probably clear the entire hospital floor. He wasn't lying. He probably could. Anyways, well, so then later on yesterday, like a little while after that, it was only maybe like 20 minutes later, he got the doctor to call the laboratory and they call flow. And I happened to still be in the flow area because I was still doing my paperwork and stuff. And so it's like my, one of my coworkers said, hey, she was like, Ashley, somebody, uh, somebody wants to talk to you. And I was like, who? And who even has the number to hear? And then she was like, the, the guy you just went on the bone marrow with or the patient, want to talk to you and he got, I get on the phone and he apologized to me for passing so much gas while I was in the room and I said he said he was a little embarrassed I said sir don't be embarrassed I said you know I I fart all the time and I never apologize for it and sometimes I even trust farts when I shouldn't and I don't apologize for that either so you know what that's okay it's farts are farts we love farts right Okay, anyways, that's a little bit, it was just sweet, my heart's so touched, poor fella. You know, like, first off, I'm no lady, so don't be thinking you were farting in front of a lady and that's just somebody, okay, there's no lady here, okay? Anyways, so we're going to start Miss Jackie on, we're going to do plank. I always like to start with plank first because it works, like, it's very good for your back as well. It works your core and your arms, but instead of having, I like to, cut the arms together like I'm praying the hands instead of doing that you're going to have them out this is going to work your arms a bit more and then if you can you're going to try to get up onto your hands okay and then go back down onto your elbows if you can that's going to work your arms a lot and your core too don't forget to keep your butt cheeks squeezed squinch like you're holding in a poop and um so you'll try to do like 10 of these okay if you can try not to like move so like i moved kind of a little too much of my hips there so you try to do and that's really good for your arms i mean that's where you're going to feel it is all right here okay and i know you're wanting to do your try so if you can do 10 of those 10 ups and downs if you can't do it maybe just stay on your knees just get on your knees instead of on your uh get on your knees don't really get on your knees miss jackie but but, but <laughs> Not in a nasty way. Unless you really want to, they're good for you. Go on, girl. Go on now. But um, but get get on your knees and then you try it like this. And then okay. And so that's what we're about to do. Is so we just finished plank. So now you are gonna you want to reach as far forward as you can. Keep your ab your butt cheeks clenched, abdomen tight and tucked. And you're, we're gonna do girl push-ups. I don't like push-ups so much because they really tug on my breast implants. But this is really good for the arms. 
So turn your fingers in to where they're to where they're toward each other, okay? And you're just gonna like lower and lift. It's not very, actually we separate my arms a little more. You're gonna lower and lift and you should be feeling it all in your tricep. That's where you're gonna feel it the most. And maybe do 10 of these, okay? And then when you get to 10, put your body all the way down and put your fingertips right where your titties are. So your fingertips should be like right in line with your nipples pretty much. And your arms should be back. So you should be, your arms should be touching your rib cage here or as close as you can get it. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna push up and make sure your fingers are loose. Push up, but don't, cut, don't like your pelvis, it will come off the ground really. Just this is for your triceps too and keeping this isolated movement, it's really good and it's gonna really, it really, really works your arms. That's all you're doing is just lifting and lowering just your top part and you keep your whole butt on the ground. I mean, I feel it, woo. All right, do 10 of those, then, so you will need a mat for that, or at least like a carpet or something. A carpet, jeez. Okay, let me fix my camera. Okay, hold on, sorry. I'm trying to, there we go. That way I can stand up straight and you can see me. And I'm all bended over, my butt cheeks are all in your face. Okay, hopefully you can see me. I think you can, okay. So then you're gonna get up and get your weights. I have just five pound weights. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> I, I have five pound weights, feet shoulder width apart, and you're gonna just out and in. So you reach and pull back in. Reach and pull. This is gonna work more than just your triceps, but since that's our most, our area we're wanting to work, that's how we're gonna do. You just reach and pull, okay? Reach and pull, you should be able to do 20 of these and you should be feeling it in your biceps and your triceps, okay? When you get to 20, lift your arms overhead, let your weights touch. This is really good for the triceps, but the trick here is to keep your arms, should be touching your ears. So keep them to where they're touching your ears, and then you just lower and lift, that's all you do. You might need a heavier weight than this. I like to use like one big 20 pound dumbbell, so you just wanna lower and lift but I, it, it takes some repetition before you finally, you know, start feeling it, okay? Lower and lift, and you should be able to do 20 of those. 20, so 10, 10 on the ground, 20 of the, the weights, and then there's one more exercise that's really good, and it's really easy. You don't have to hold weights. It's not recommended to hold, to have heavier than two pounds or three pounds, if you're gonna do this like five pounds is like borderline too heavy when you're moving, but you just stick your arms straight out, palms facing up, and maybe just put a song on and like just for, through the whole song or like commercial, like TV commercial, roll your arms forward for about 30 seconds, maybe no longer than that, do like a minute, and then when you get to a minute, stop and reverse them back, okay? Reverse them back. And then that's it. You get, don't have to be a big movement, just like this. And just one added bonus, if you want, this is really good for your triceps too, your arms and your boobies, is either hold the weight or don't hold the weight. You just put your hands together and you're just gonna push up like this. That's all you're gonna do. You don't have to hold the weight if you don't want to. Just push up like this and you should really feel it here and all in your arms as well, okay? So you should do 10, 10 of each on the floor, 20 with the weights with the out and in and with the overhead, and then one minute each, maybe do those last if you want. And then you can flip the palms down and then go, so you could do it for four minutes. And that's all I have for arms. I tried to isolate arms as much as I could. And um, I hope that you enjoy and I hope you like, I'll do more arms in the future. Um, I just always usually tend to do abs and legs because that's most people's trouble areas and your arms do tend to take care of themselves because everything I'm doing is using your own body weight or free weights. I'm not really big on machines. But um, anyways, that's me. That'll be really good for your triceps. It won't give you like, like rippy, like bulky man arms either. It would be nice, just nice to find where there's not jiggly stuff there. You know, I, we hate that. That's called the goodbye arm. One of my teachers, Miss Boswell, used to call it that because she said when you're waving hello, this jiggles like you're waving goodbye at the same time. <laughs> Anyways, everyone have a great week, and I will see y'all next week, or actually the week after, because next week 
I'm not making video until, so next Sunday then, okay? All right, bye.